Fox. Terry Schilling, the president of the American Principles Project, is joining us on that. And Hilton Beckham is a former communica communications director for the Trump administration. Excuse me, I cannot speak today, but I'll do my best to get through it with you. Uh, Hilton, uh, if I can, can I get your, your thoughts on this? Remarks by Scott Jennings uh, on, on CNN, the remarks uh, that were made by President Trump uh, and what he said. What is your take on his analysis? Was he fair? Was he correct? Do you, do you see it in a different way? I mean, look, Trump walked into a very hostile situation. I mean, the first few minutes were uh, the ABC reporter basically just calling him out to be a racist, a monologue of her calling him out to be a racist. But look, the far left and these reporters, all they want to do is make it about race and gender instead of track record. And if you look at the track record of Donald Trump and Joe Biden, one clearly is for the black community and one clearly is not. Joe Biden wouldn't be present right now if the far left based who they wanted to be president off of race and gender. Joe Biden call, used to pal around segregationists. He called out busing black students. Kamala Harris called him out for doing that, calling him a racist for doing that. And even Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. But do you think that reporter or any reporter is going to call Joe Biden out on that or Kamala Harris for still going and running with Joe Biden after she called him a racist? No, but they're going to point fingers at Trump and um, continue on this hostility and pressure on him that they won't give the far left. We really we really haven't seen uh, the vice president sit down with any news organization for a hard-hitting, expanded interview uh, since the announcement. So you're right. Will she be questioned on her previous remarks? We don't know. Uh, we haven't seen it yet. Uh, let's hope so, right? The American public deserves some answers. Uh, however, she is making the rounds on campaign stops. So just yesterday, she was in Houston speaking to Sigma Gamma Rho, a historically black sorority. Here's that moment. This afternoon... Donald Trump spoke at the annual meeting of the National Association of Black Journalists. And it was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. And let me just say, the American people deserve better. You know, Terry, now... Now, the headlines obviously are focusing on race and identity politics. D do you see this as productive for this campaign cycle for the American public? Well, listen, there's so much outside of our control, uh, and I, I think it's super easy to sit in an armchair and man in the arena. There's a there's a whole speech and poem about that. Uh, but what I will say is, yeah, Donald Trump did show up to the National Association for Black Journalism. Uh, Kamala Harris didn't. Right. And that's the main point here. Right. Donald Trump is showing up. He's he's reaching out to his community. They are trying to do everything they can to destroy him. But I do think, though, that Donald Trump really needs to hammer home on the fact that Kamala and Biden's agenda has done so much damage to the black community in America. Right. What the hell do you have to lose? As he said in 2016, you, these people need to start voting differently. Otherwise, things are never going to change in their community. And I think that's what the focus needs to be going forward. I gotta leave it there. Uh, we appreciate Terry Schilling coming on and Hilton Beckham. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks.